We then worked our way through back down into Truro, which is the furthest point west we went. Day five, we were still in Torquay. That hotel also had a grand piano and their little uh, concert room. It was the most heinously tuned piano I've played it in a minute, but uh, that's always my favorite thing to come across a piano in the wild and get to jam on it and have nobody kick you off. I love it. Next morning, packed up and drove to Truro. We left Torquay. We made our way to Dead Sailor BMX Shop. Then we went to Dead Sailor BMX Shop. Dead Sailor was sick. And they, they had ciders and donuts. Pretty sick shop. Straight away, everyone. Austin signatures, uh, and pictures taken with it. A few of the kids there were trying to vlog it themselves. We're in Truro. I'm walking up here just like this. Cider for the boys. Damn! They gave us two big bags of apple cider. <laughs> Wicked fast Wi Fi. I got a video uploaded, so it worked out pretty well. Am I doing a YouTube video? Is that a real question? Where are we at right now? Go. Uh huh. After the bike shop, we headed to Truro Plaza, which is really fucking sick. It's pretty much like a street spot or like something out of a video game. One of the coolest skate parks I've ever seen. Super street, huge hubbas. Just different angles of stairs in every fucking direction. The most misplaced little ledges and rails and drops and shit everywhere. Lots of stairs. Pretty cool mini ramp. The main attraction there, I'd say, are these two massive hubbas. Two massive, like 30 foot down hubbas. Austin died trying to ice pick. I tried this ice pick straight out the gate with a hurt ankle, and I don't know if the crash looks as bad as it felt, but it really ruined me for the rest of the trip. Land on my back. Murdering this place. Yeah. Ethan done a Smith Nose bar on the hub of there. Next level Smith Nose bar. Completely fucked up, like video part clip. Vegan half cab one of the biggest sets there into this little bank at the bottom, which was sick. Oh my god! Dugan came through too. Dugan did a, a was trying to do a 180, but uh, the half cab was kind of screwing him up. Gap out of this shitty mini ramp over the fence. The second time I'm faking and just, the grass was so tall that I just like bugged out and just slipped my pedal at the most awkward time to slip a pedal on a fakey and just got shinner it like a motherfucker. He was Google searching in the in the grass, you know, he's half cabin going all over the grass. So he's like fucking it and just threed it way sicker anyway. So I jibbed it and just went for the 450 over it. because I knew if I got the rotation around, I'd ride away from it, you know? And uh, luckily, it worked out. Tarek done the pegs on the back row. Then we got in the van and drove to Stoke-on-Trent. We were driving through like a bunch of farmland on the way to the next city. 
saw a bunch of sheep in a field, just like minding their own business. I've, I've always seen this in movies before. I forget what movie it was, but people running with sheep, and I, I had my sheep sheep vest on, and I wanted to go run with the sheep. I attempted, I did run, but they ran faster. They, they just ran away immediately. Boys like to play the jokes on the old auggy. And then we pretended like we were gonna leave him. <laughs> Try to leave me. Can't get me to be that easy. 